Hey, good morning. Welcome everybody to Dwayne Marino's Autoversity. And if you like these tips, please subscribe, share, and like them. All right, what's today's uh, thought for the day? Well, today's thought for the day is the fact that if you're in sales, uh, you've actually never closed a deal in your life. I've never, I've never closed a deal. I never will close a deal. So let me come at this from a couple of angles. First off, um, this is going to go out to um, all the trainers out there, and there's lots of them that uh, you know train uh, salespeople to sell by manipulating, controlling, talking down, denying information slowing down the customer, avoiding their price questions. So if you're graduating or currently attending the stay off price, slow them down, dumb them down university, um, hey, may the universe bless you. Um, I don't, uh, I wish that upon my worst friend out there. I went through that uh, for a number of years and it's uh, kind of a, a sick way to sell. It's an awfully long and arduous way to sell and rather ineffective and I've got the numbers to back that up. So. That's the first piece I'm putting out there. Um, second one is the second school of thought, or you know, that I see on, on the internet and uh, you know, videos posted all over Facebook and and YouTube is the other style of sales training, which is all chest beating bravado, uh, male testosterone, ego, uh, talking down to salespeople, acting like salespeople are you know uh, dumb, irrelevant scumbags that for the most part um, are useless of what they do, and they need some savior, godlike figure to come in and uh, set them on fire and motivate them to do well. Well, I'm neither one of those, I don't wanna be those, and uh, I quite frankly am turned off by it. Um, I would love to put myself in a selling situation with um, uh, the trainers that uh, teach that and have some people analyze firsthand what works, what works best for gross profit and customer satisfaction, as well as the long-term business that we should all be in, which is building relationships and not just trying to complete transactions by arm wrestling people. So let me go back to my initial comment about um, uh, the fact that I've never closed a sale and neither will you. What actually happens is when you're sitting there watching a, a customer purchase um, a can of pop from you, a home, a pair of pants, or an automobile, is you are able to witness, you're being lucky enough to witness, the moment at which the customer has made the purchase decision. Now, if they've come at it logically, emotionally, if you provided some information to help persuade that um, you know, thought process, uh, absolutely, that could be going on. But you're not closing a sale, my friends. Get your egos in check. You're not leaning over the table and forcing that pen uh, down on the paper and then stealing the money from the customer's pocket unwillingly. They are giving it to you. And actually, by legal definition, when that customer is signing a bill of sale, you are all witnessing the purchase agreement that's being done by the seller and the buyer. So let's get our egos in check here this morning, my friends. Um, let's not uh, listen to some information which is from the 1980s or earlier, uh, as I say, you know, the uh, slow them down, stay off price, dumb them down university. And if you've got somebody who's in front of you trying to close you or sell you uh, through um, a bunch of hyped up hot air where they seem to think they're the second coming and they've got all the great sarcastic smart answers for you and they're talking down to you and talking down to our career, uh, check in with your head, heart, and gut, and perhaps ask yourself if this makes sense to you, and if it's gonna make sense to your customers' relationships in the next five to 50 years that you hope to be selling whatever it is you're selling. So I'm Dwayne Marino, uh, thanks for watching. It's an awesome Thursday morning, TGIT. Thank God it's Thursday, uh, because up here in Canada, this is actually a long weekend for us, which starts on the Friday. And uh, down in the US, to my friends and clients down there, your long weekend actually uh, finishes on the Monday. So have a great one. Happy Thursday. Take care, and we'll talk to you soon.